What's a rationalizing factor? In the previous video, we used the rationalizing factor to make an irrational denominator rational. Consider an irrational number like 7 root 3. How do we find the rationalizing factor of this irrational number? Let's understand the concept of a rationalizing factor first. We just have to ask ourselves one question. 7 root 3 multiplied by what number gives us a rational number? This number here will be the rationalizing factor of 7 root 3. Let's try multiplying 7 root 3 with root 3. Root 3 multiplied by root 3 equals 3. So this expression will equal 7 multiplied by 3 which equals 21. Yes, 21 is a rational number. We multiplied our number with root 3 to get a rational number. So we can say that root 3 is the rationalizing factor of 7 root 3. Now here's something interesting. Think about it. Root 3 is an irrational number and if we would have multiplied root 3 with 7 root 3, we would still get 21. Root 3 when multiplied with 7 root 3 gives us a rational number. So can we say that 7 root 3 is a rationalizing factor of root 3? Yes, of course we can. 7 root 3 is a rationalizing factor of root 3. A rationalizing factor is sometimes also called a conjugate. So both these numbers here are rationalizing factors or conjugates of each other. Is the rationalizing factor of a number unique? Is root 3 the only rationalizing factor of 7 root 3? Let's try multiplying 7 root 3 with 2 root 3. 7 multiplied by 2 is 14 and root 3 multiplied by root 3 equals 3. This will equal 14 multiplied by 3 which equals 42. 42 is a rational number. So we can say that 2 root 3 is indeed a rationalizing factor of 7 root 3. We have found two rationalizing factors of 7 root 3 which proves that a rationalizing factor of a number is not unique. Now let's try multiplying 7 root 3 with 3 root 3. 7 multiplied by 3 is 21 and root 3 multiplied by root 3 equals 3. Hence this will equal 21 multiplied by 3 which equals 63. And 63 is also a rational number. So 3 root 3 is also a rationalizing factor of 7 root 3. Yes, it means that an irrational number has infinite rationalizing factors. So we can say that root 3 is the lowest positive rationalizing factor of 7 root 3. If we have 7 root 3 in the denominator, we can use any of these numbers to rationalize it, but it is recommended that we take the lowest positive one. It's pretty simple to find the rationalizing factors of such numbers. We just have to make sure that we get a rational number as the product. But what if the number is like root 3 plus root 7? What if we had this in the denominator? How can we rationalize this expression? We will see that in the next part of this video.